Trend number three, the majority of home buyers are still millennials. That's right. Our final trend is about who is buying homes. And once again, millennials took the lead as the largest group of home buyers in 2019. And that's going to continue in 2020. So the easiest way to spot a millennial home buyer is they cannot wait to post a picture of their new home on Instagram. Hi, my name is Billy Bryson with Bryson Team Real Estate and Home Loans. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and please leave a comment below. Also, if you or anyone you know is considering making a move or refinancing, please give me a call at 562-248-6161. You can pass on my number or you can visit my website at brysonteam.com for free helpful real estate and loan information. So what do millennial buyers mean for sellers? Here are three important words. Know your buyer. In a nutshell, millennials are internet savvy and do their research before house shopping. Here are some tips. Upgrade your home online. Virtually all millennials use the internet for their home search and 80% of them found their home on a mobile device last year. So you need to make the best possible impression on the internet. Make sure you invest in high quality listing photos and for extra measure, consider taking a video footage to give them a digital tour of your home. Highlight perks over size. Yes, square footage matters, but millennials are more concerned about their commuting costs and how close they are to homes in, you know, schools in their home's neighborhood. Most millennial buyers say they would least likely to compromise on schools and neighborhoods um, when deciding on which home to buy. So highlight the benefits of your home's fabulous location instead of wasting time trying to sell it on size. No popular features. Here are some of the top features millennials want. Number one, laundry room. Hardwood front exterior, patio, garage storage, and a walk-in pantry. If you're thinking about making some upgrades to your home, choosing one of those might have millennials showering you with offers when you're ready to sell. So what do millennial buyers mean for buyers? Okay, if you're looking for a three bedroom single family home in the suburbs, just expect to have a lot of competition. You may have to reprioritize what you want in your dream home. Follow these tips. Know what you want, decide what you absolutely need in a home, and if you're married and house hunting, you and your spouse need to agree on the must-haves. Compare them and go over them with your real estate agent. Another good suggestion would be to write a letter. Sending a personal story to the seller might be just the thing that makes you stand out from similar offers. A recent couple of, that I was working with included a personal letter when they made an offer on their home. We sent the sellers a personal letter with our offer. The best thing you can do is to include in the letter the things you love about their house. If you have a deck or screened in porch, tell them how much you envision using that space. We did that and the sellers accepted our offer out of multiple offers within 24 hours. So hire an experienced pro. Last year, nearly 90% of millennial home buyers used real estate agents to purchase. Save yourself stress of trying to buy on your own. Get the help of a real estate pro so the home buying process is smooth and everyone is involved. Once again, my name is Billy Bryson with Bryson Team at Real Estate and Home Loans. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below. Also, if you or anyone you know is considering making a move or refinancing, please give me a call, pass on my number, or visit my website for free, helpful real estate and loan information. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.